FNG and his friends are about to embark on a journey towards the grand final at the International Five, but they've got a big, tall order to get through in order to reach the final in the case of LGD. They are on their way out to the, to the arena. LGD and Virtus Pro, two of the last five teams remaining at the International 2015, and it's winner takes all in this game. The loser is done. The winner moves on. Having already knocked out the favourite secret, they now have another job to do in the new favourites, potentially. It could just be a, a flat top flat lane. This could be the first blood right now. MMY is moving in quick. He can go start with a stun, follow up into the hex with a rocket barrage. Phobos not tanky enough to survive this, not win the shards, or maybe he will. Back behind the tower, TEP support oh, coming in on 11 life. He has too low. FNG with a stun. Virtus Pro underneath the tier one tower. LGD call for a moment. It's going to obviously help out with his DD. It's a DD run wasted. Killed it. Lost two creeps. He's dead. Completely dead. There's no way out this one. Not when there's four heroes coming down. And again, the Shadow Fiend. Uh, DK Phobos is also only level 5, so... DK Phobos is dead. Hook shot in from Xiao Wei, locking him in. Lil Nix supports him back, but he gets burnt by the Cox. Coming into a little bit too close, but now they go on maybe gusting him back out again. On just setting up for that the one scribbles, tower. Illidan, you don't want to be here. That Dire Observer Ward, watch him go up. Xiao Wei, hook shots in, and now real trouble for Illidan. He can't break free. The Gus will push Xiao Wei out, but then the SF locks in. God, looking for revenge kill over on Yao. Able to claim it with Lil, finishing the job with the Fade Bolt. They move over to maybe just throwing him back with the Telekinesis. FNG, time to get out. There is time. So they got a way to get this instant kill. Fissure out, MMY's gonna jump, God. Where's this dance? Here come the call down. Three heroes in burst broke caught this one. The four stuff down by Phobos, getting himself away from Xiao Wei, but Xiao Wei keeping on the back of him. The battery assault will finish the job on Illidan. Sal's gonna finish this job. Xiao Wei's actually made to pick up a double kill. Illidan actually away to safety for now. T being out, FNG will not be so lucky, and actually Illidan won't either. The blink dagger on the SF gets him there in the nick of time. The moment Shadow Fiend is down and doesn't get Requiem off, they have so much damage between the Drow and the Storm. But Requiem removes a lot of it. And now they go in for that range rack taken. God jumping up forward, but Xiao Wei going in deeper. He four stars into that one. They find the Illidan and they'll go over to God as well as FNG. Retreating back behind the tier 4 towers. Only the Storm has the ability to escape at the moment. The loser of this series goes out, so it's all, all or nothing. But they leave maybe on the front left, LGD, they know the burst is there, and then MMY, the Orchid from God, he wants to finish the job, MMY, Clipper Cape, up though, God can't see him, he can't kill him, FNG's down, Phobos as well, and Jomen maybe winding up the only Elephant, destroyed, Silo will actually take the ultra kill, they'll take the bottom rack, and they'll take the GG, LGD, a terrific performance, it looked a little bit weird with the snowball on the top lane, but after that, it was all Gucci for LGD. Yeah. I I, I even think VP had a good start to that game. That's the scariest part. Like, their first five minutes were actually good. They got the counter kill top, so Lino was off to a good start. Shaker survived. For this kind of matchup, wait a sec, LGD? No. This is. They're gonna find an, out there's another sentry ward here in mid. Uh, Nightmare top lane. Yao could be in trouble. This might be the first blood with the stun and the brain tap and lightning. It will be. Virtus Pro get their combo off. And the Dark Seer is the casualty of war here for LGD. If you can bring him in range with the Nova, then, yep, there's enough of a slow. They can follow up with a Frostbite. Gop looking forward, keeps the vision up. They'll trigger the dust, so nowhere to hide here for maybe. And the Sonic Wave takes him out. Dishing out some good damage to Silo and God. No blink. They need more space. FNG Frostbite, one second. He'll keep Silo back, but he cannot hold the illusions in play. Because right now, it just feels like the slow walk forward for Virtus Pro. It's not for Golden Experience. In fact, the experience is 100% on zero, while Illidan now being charged down with a Pulse Nova with Laguna Blade. They're able to find the kill on the Lashrak, and maybe even Lil with a last strike array, in comes maybe huge amounts of damage working for him. And two quick kills here for LGD. Actually cancelled his animation at the last moment, allowing Sila to complete his TP and get in while Lil, he's in more trouble. Brain saps alive back that MMY stole. Not all of it, but the Fissure block catching out too while Illidan stunning on Yao. The Pulse Nova is going to go to work. The Darkseer throws down the wall. FNG's actually dying if he's not careful. You can't ult the inside of a wall until the Sonic Wave from God all over LGD. But not really again enough damage to find another pick off. He'll have to blink himself away to safety. Wait, it's about to walk in range of it, they'll see him straight away and there's your Fiend's Grip on a real target it's going to be the Bounty Hunter and the follow-up Fisher it keeps Yao and MMY away so Xiao Wei will drop and now MMY didn't realize Illidan was there, he came out of the Invis room with the damage with the Echo Set Blinken they'll still pick up the Lestrak but with the CM ulti, Silas trying to run himself one way, away one way while the Templar Assassin is just on a small little hunting spree of her own, trying to chase down Phobos
Fireballs. He's able to blink Rain himself speed. over the hillside. Courier is even dying as well. The Radiant lost their Courier. With it. So if you can keep LGD blind on the map, they'll never know exactly where they can go to find the openings. And which they're trying to find one right now. It's a four-man smoke move. They just got a fresh blink dagger over from the Darks here. And they will be fighting this Bane. Nightmare just going to slow it up. And the rest of Burst Pro are coming in. They don't think they really want to, however. Maybe triggers the BKB. God forced after away to safety. And yeah, Burst Pro realized they want to pick the T1 tower. And yeah, the fact can't pull him into the wall, however. And with a sonic wave and the edict damage, it's not enough. Damage until the sun hits from Latrag. But Sila going after the Crystal Maiden. She is a very easy hero to kill off, especially when Maiden moves up to the sun from Phobos. Still with the Echo Sam, looking for more stuns. Maybe dying the Pulse Nova. He has to move further Dyer's away, but Phobos up with the stun. Control is there, but they can't see him until one burst of the Pulse. But it's still not going to stop him from coming over. A five man smoke move from LGD. Roshan down at 3.5k. They need more time here. Virtus Pro, they don't really have it. The tracks begin. Lil's being exposed. They're sending in the PL Illusions. Look at Phobos walking on the cliffside, waiting for that Echo Slam time. Sila moves forward. The Bane's already down. CM, FNG on the hillside throwing out the ulti. But we still don't have anything really until that Sonic Wave connects on Xiao Wei as well as MMY, but Illidan, he doesn't have a BKB, gonna get Lagooned up in the air, trying to buy a little bit more space as the cell fuels into the Pulse Nova, but he actually ended up killing himself semi on the wall, maybe stunned up by Phobos, but it took so long for him to come in, LGD, they wipe four players of VP off, thank god there's nothing more he can do, they have to let him have Roshan. What a fight for LGD! That's probably about that's about six thousand gold they just got there. The Elder's coming out a long way, and we actually get the Assault Curas. You'll step from bottom lane, looking for the perfect stun timing over on Silent, but he'll trigger the BKB. It's now down to seven seconds, and Illidan just wants to TP out, but Xiaowei's there with a Shuriken Toss. He'll stop the TP out, he has a Pulse Nova up. There's more support coming in from Burst Pro, but Illidan's already dead. God will arrive, and he's walking into Xiaowei. We'll see him come out. There's an Invid's Rune and an Assault Curas, which is having its effect on LGD. If they're looking at their bars right now, they'll understand they're being affected up by something. They haven't Dyer's seen the gods out of this AC yet. Opportunity they're going to have for the rest of the game. Well, they've got to keep God alive if they can have that opportunity. God's walking back into LGD. In fact, blinks into LGD. The Yule Sephiroth up from MMY with a follow-up. Some that's still a little life on him, but God cannot blink again. 80 seconds on the sideline. He bought an Oldman all before he died. Hence, the money is not there. They have to force this out. Xiao Wei not hit by that dust. They're trying to reveal him. That Octarine calls repairing the lack of Bloodstone charges on Lashrak for the moment. There's now PL looking for the kills after Phobos. And Echo Slam needs to buy more space. Phobos just doesn't have it. Not when the Shuriken Toss bounces up as well. Illidan, they'll chase him in deeper. LGD looking to come on a rampage. FNG, in fact, they even just lost the Courier of the Radiant side. But it does not matter. It was the Agon himself to lost Lil. Has put himself into a nightmare. But the nightmare is what's happening inside of Burst Pro's base. FNG, no ulti. The back will cancel. He held it for so long. VP are completely team wiped. And right now with no... No buybacks on anyone but the Earthshaker, they will lose potentially Dyer's two lanes of racks. That's all the charge he's got, and you're going to lose FNG. The TA traps are down, maybe. Blink it. And go it. God's waiting for him, and Sila comes up. FNG, quick work. Sonic Wave will be there, but the back wall. Virtus Pro, they're getting fought outside their own base and dying. God's on the run, but Sila just dashing himself down. And this could be the opening. 80 seconds without the Queen of Pain. And let's rank down. That's really over. They can just go down and take the GG push here. LGD, there's nothing left for Virtus Pro. They will be eliminated from the International Five. It's been a terrific run. The questions were there, could LGD pick themselves up as topping from C deck that they got? And the answer is yes, LGD looking strong and looking in charge. They will proceed and have a shot at... They're now top four. Yes. Where does Pro finish fifth? Yes. It's still a, a really admirable run for them. And LGD are still on the way to that top three that most people were predicting they would end up in. Now they all have to play against Vici Gaming. Yeah, that is their next opponent. Then up against the loser of the winner's bracket final, which is coming up next. But it's great to see LGD back in form. Big props as well to Virtus Pro. They had a fantastic tournament. They did take out one of the big favorites, Team Secrets. So they can be very happy with their performance here at TI5. For now, though, we'll see just how happy the panel are.